Hi there, my name is Blake, and welcome to Abandoned, the All-American Ruins podcast. Per usual, I have just a quick note before we get started. This is a short bonus episode, so if you haven't listened to our show yet, I would strongly suggest that you hit that pause button and go back to the beginning, to season one, to the prologue, to Anna Moya, so you can get a sense of what we typically do here. But if you're not an All-American Ruins newbie, hey there. I'm in the middle of production on season two, which comes out in September, and I cannot wait to show you what we've been up to. In the meantime, I've been releasing various bonus episodes between now and September so that your abandoned RSS feed doesn't go stale. Collaborations with cool organizations like History Colorado, personal songwriting diaries inspired by various abandoned buildings I've explored, or episodes like this one an interview with another urbexer who is adding his unique voice to the community through the power of technology and crowdsourcing. Now, as you know, Abandoned is part of the larger All-American Ruins multiverse, a multimedia travelogue where I recount my experiences exploring abandoned spaces across the United States and reimagine them via written, photographic, audio, and cinematic storytelling. When I first joined this community, I wanted to find a way to offer my voice to a robust neighborhood filled with photographers, videographers, choreographers, dancers, models, graffiti artists, and activists, architects, preservationists, creative geniuses, who, in one way or another, all share the same passion, a deep spiritual connection to abandoned spaces. In her unofficial Urbex Manifesto, A Field Guide to Getting Lost, author Rebecca Solnit states that, A city is built to resemble a conscious mind, a network that can calculate, administrate, manufacture. Ruins become the unconscious of a city, its memory, unknown darkness, lost lands, and in this, truly bring it to life. In honor of that verse, I'd like to introduce you to Maxim, the founder of the Abandoned World app, a crowdsourcing platform for urbexers to find unique locations to explore. Months ago, I interviewed Maxim for my weekly radio program, The File File, on Radio Kingston, WKNY, AM 1490, FM 107.9 in Kingston, New York, where I also record this podcast. We discuss the balancing act of sharing location information, teetering between safety and protection for urbexers, as well as information equitability, and how that looks amongst explorers. Abandoned World opens up a realm of possibilities for newbies to the community. So, I hope that you enjoy this conversation with Maxim Gerb, founder of Abandoned World, available for Apple and Android downloads at itsabandoned.com. Radio Kingston, welcome back to The File File. I'm super excited. Joining me is Maxim Gerb, who is the founder of the Abandoned World app. He's joining me all the way from France. So, Maxim, welcome to The File File. Hey there. Hi, Blake. Thanks for inviting me uh, to your show. Oh, of course. I was so excited when I came across the app. I guess this is maybe six months ago, but... Just to give folks a little bit of background, many of the listeners to this program know that I've been working on uh, All-American Ruins, and during the first initial phase of research back two years ago, I found it quite difficult to discover locations because, you know, a lot of the time when visiting these abandoned spaces, it might be considered trespassing. And so once I happened upon the Abandoned World app, I was really impressed with it because it's crowdsourcing, which I love. So I'd like you to tell folks a little bit about how you decided to to build the app and how it, how it all got started. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so first of all, yeah, same for, same for me, the, 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 the mission behind it is uh, to, to, bring, to, to bring joy and uh, to bring uh, fascination with all your band, uh, uh, past uh, building, past uh, um, yeah, to the story that's uh, behind, and yeah, I think the um, I'm, uh, I always enjoy the uh, historical uh, facts and uh, bring back memories, and I want to to trigger a bit this uh, the imagination and uh, and uh, the the discovery around our, our own sur- surrounding. So let's um, uh, bring back a, a bit how did it all uh, started uh, the the story of the abandoned world app. Um, <clears throat> it was uh, some uh, some years ago, few, uh, two three years ago, that uh, yeah, I got I got a bit uh, tired with uh, scrolling through the items of my classic um, 
social media and uh, classic item that I'm food, cat item. And, uh, you know, the, I would call that the, inst the classic uh, Instagram and Facebook algorithm. Um, and yeah, I was actually um, interested in, in going out, going out to, to discover new places uh, by myself around me. And uh, yeah, I didn't get this the, this feed of of locations of um, I I got indeed uh, lo locations, uh, but that was you know the the mainstream location that was public places that that everyone knows, and nothing is wrong with that. But those mainstream places uh, they were not really exciting for me. They they didn't really trigger the fascination, and I could not also really learn on the much from the historical uh, point of view. So I started to get even more interesting in visiting uh, old uh, businesses, visiting old buildings, and w w which were quite with easy access. Uh, uh, so, um, yeah, and I went to some, like probably you, Blake, yeah, I went to some uh, to some groups uh, online. I went to some, uh, to, to get to, to get to know some locations, to get some information. Uh, of with uh, with my friends also with, uh, to get some ideas, but quick, quickly I, I run out of uh, places and those places, most of the time they were not updated, and uh, yeah, that that's how I decided to um, to create the app and that's how the the project got uh, kickstarted. It's such an interesting concept, and you know one of the things that I found myself running into a lot was the elusiveness of people providing information. I think there is this notion that the community wants to protect itself, which is part of it, and I understand that. But I also found there was this unwillingness to help other people who also shared similar interests. And to me, what is so exciting about the community are the people who are willing to share information and the people who are interested in also providing the joy that you mentioned to other folks who, who share the same interests, you know? And there's not a lot of us out there, but considering the topic, there's a good number of people. We're, we're looking at a crowdsourcing app. What are some of the challenges that you've come across in that regard? Yeah, so um, uh, being part of a community is awesome. I, I love the, the feeling of uh, get, getting help. I love the to uh, that other people give me some information. And, and that's indeed not everyone that that uh, that want to that desire to to do that to to help so uh, i struggle uh, al always a bit to finding good content i struggle to find um the uh, the most updated uh, information let's say i want to go to uh, to a certain castle which is uh, uh, close by my house uh, next weekend and then yeah how do i know uh, what's the if this place still exists how do i know um the the history behind it who owned the place and how do I know how I can, how I can, uh, if it's legal to go to this place, how can I get in touch with the, with the, with the owner, uh, to this place? So it's in, mostly it's information that, uh, that I would uh, miss there. And I'm all, I'm, I got really surprised with, with, uh, making this, uh, this project of, uh, the Abandon uh, World App. It was to, that people were willing to help me in this. And the, the community is, is, um, is uh, they, were, they were willing to, to help me. And, and I wanted to contribute, to give back that information, first of all, to my friends, um, and, you know, to, to, to get them, hey, you can also go there, I've been there, it's quite safe. Um, I, had got a good, I had a good experience, I shared some pictures to show them a bit how, how the place was. And, and yeah, the, the, the community loved that, uh, that feedback, uh, I think. Yeah, I love that. I'm I'm not a tech person at all. I have, you know, pretty minimal experience in technology. So, I'm interested to learn about the process of building an app in general, what 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 you go through, kind of the steps and and will you continue to update it as as you move forward? Yeah, so it was the project was uh, really rather really simple uh, when I, I was very ashamed of <laughs> of the releasing the uh, the project in the beginning uh, i also did not want to to show it really to to my friends because they, it was basically just a map with those um, black points <laughs> on, on it so that was not really uh, really that interesting and that fancy i would say um, something was really clear that from the community i didn't want to bring spam to to the people so i needed to find a way to filter 
the the information before it gets uh, it get public to the before it get uh, public to the community and and for for that i um, i created a system that it that gets uh, reviewed so the i created a, a very simple uh, system that uh, you uh, every uh, update every change into the into the database got uh, reviewed and got approved and if that really makes uh, sense for the for the community to to give back to the community uh, i will give you an example some people are updating the the, the good to know um, or maybe it's not well labeled that they, they are updating the good to know and they are putting comments like oh awesome i was there last weekend oh uh, uh cool um love that place and and f- for the, for the next um, explorer like uh and that, that could be you and that doesn't really give much uh, information uh, but let's say something more uh, substantial like uh, you can contact the owner with uh, this address or you can go to my profile and then uh, we can get in touch uh, to um, to enter in contact with the with the owner that's uh, more interesting information uh, to, uh, to to get so technically yeah so there was this um, you can think of having a, a mobile app uh, it's just a, uh, a normal mobile application using a very uh, a very modern technology stack. Uh, if you ca- you can think of uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook, uh, what the, the the stack that they are using is very similar to uh, to what I do. And uh, you can also think so. There is this review system. The second point, the review system, which is in place, and it's. Um, yeah, it's uh, basically it's some a lot of hours, nights, uh, <laughs> nights working on the on the project uh, itself, and um, nothing too too fancy there. When you were growing up, do you remember the first time that you realized that you had this interest in in old buildings and and abandoned spaces? Good question. Um, he, so. The, they, I remember when I when I grew up when I when I went uh, out with uh, with my parents in the, in the nature I was I was feeling kind of bored like going walking into the woods and and I didn't feel, really found it interesting and I remember that when, when when we were going outside into the outdoor I was always kind of searching searching some uh, some places of where humans could have been where humans could have been picnicking or where humans could have been li- living like a you can think of a, a shelter, um, a old wooden houses, and I was kind of searching for for those places, and that that sparked uh, some uh, yeah some curiosity. That sp- that sparked the curiosity at that time. So I would I would uh, associate this feeling of searching uh, uh, those uh, places back in the days. Yeah, I remember the first time. Um... Well, you know, you've listened to my podcast. The there was there was an abandoned dairy farm down the hill from my house, and it was it was an extraordinary feeling, uh, getting to go into those ruins and and feel like I was really time traveling, um, in essence. So, folks who might be interested in in uh, looking at the app, how can they how can they get involved? How can they support you? Sup- supporting me, of course, is. Um... They, they, I, it's uh, financially creating an app and having the delivering an app uh, on the on the on the on multiple platform, having this review system, uh, having the the storage is of course there is a financially part uh, of it uh, that uh, that uh, that can be taken uh, in account, and they, of course they can buy me some uh, coffees, <laughs> so the folks can uh, can buy me some coffees to help me uh, at night uh, to stay awake and to continue the updating working on the app. Uh, you can also contribute simply by finding a spot around your house that's not on the map. <laughs> I would say that's the that could be the the most fun to to do. Like uh, you know some places, but it's not yet in the app. Be the first one on the market uh, to um, uh, update uh, the, the map and put your own uh, spot. That could that's always fun and that always sparks uh, joy uh, to to me. Uh, yeah, it also just by. You know, it, if uh, if you don't have the financial means, uh, uh, like uh, like me when I started, um, simply just share with your friends. Hey, do you did you know that we can uh, that we can go explore some abandoned places next weekend together, and share this thing uh, with your group of friends? Hey guys, let's go uh, 
discover some uh, some places around and take some pictures and uh, and get to know a bit how the society uh, works and what happened to those places uh you know trigger a bit some questions around that's always nice uh. maxim how can folks find the app uh, so the app is on the on both for android uh, ios you can find them on the store with abandoned world app abandoned world and um, there is of course a uh, uh, a website, but most of the the content is into the app because I don't have time to do the, the the website. And yeah, I would say please go go outside of the beaten track, go outside of the mainstream, and uh, dis- discover what's uh, what the world is around you. Awesome. Well, Maxim, thank you so much for joining me on the program tonight. It's been a pleasure, and um, can't wait to keep seeing what's what happens next with the app. Cool. Thanks for having me tonight. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, coming up uh, in the future. Um, I, I will think of uh, emphasizing, emphasizing different uh, type of explorer that we are because we, some people are more they like they like to watch, some people are more exploring, like go, going out. So there will be some uh, some features like this uh, coming up, and of course making the usability in general better and the UX uh, better. So yeah, I'm open to uh, to feedback. You can uh, reach me with uh, with uh, by email. You can leave a review on the store and uh, we can get in touch uh, quickly like that. Thanks uh, for having me, Blake. Have a good course. If you're just tuning in, I have been joined by Maxim Garb, who is the founder of the Abandoned World app, which you can head over to either the Google Play and or uh, Apple App Store to check that out and download it. It's a free download um, and make sure you send him a coffee in the process. If you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome to this special bonus episode of Abandoned, the All-American Ruins podcast. In season one, join me as I take you on immersive sonic journeys, recounting my expeditions of abandoned spaces across the United States, which I transform into fantastical audio experiences that allow you, dear listener, to dive into my imagination with me, or maybe inspire you to go out and use your own. If you don't want to miss it, please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. And I will ask gracefully that you rate and review the show on those two specific platforms. And thank you so much to everyone who has sent such lovely reviews and emails and DMs that keep this show's momentum moving forward. And just so you know, this podcast is part of a larger multimedia project called All American Ruins, which features the original blog as well as episodes from the Hudsey TV series adaptation, plus other ways to interact. So if you like to read, watch TV, or enjoy amateur photography, you can catch up on more of my adventures at allamericanruins.com, or you can follow me on Instagram at allamericanruins. Abandoned, the All American Ruins podcast is hosted, written, edited, and produced by me, Blake File, with studio space courtesy of Radio Kingston, WKNY, AM 1490, FM 1079 in Kingston, New York. Special thanks to Ida Hakala, Jimmy Buff, and Manuel Bloss for the mentorship and encouragement. Maxim Gerb, founder of Abandoned World, for sharing his brilliant Urbex crowdsourcing app with us today. And to you, the listener, for taking the time to explore these abandoned spaces with me.